now let's see this move toolbar so under this move toolbar first option we are having here manipulation what is meant by this manipulation means let's say for example we are having one assembly design here now after making assembly design just i wanted to move this part from one place to another place so in such condition directly we can go here with manipulation and we are able to move part from one place to another place in whichever the direction we want so for example if i click on x we are able to move the part only with reference to x direction so if you want to with reference to y we are able to move with reference to y or else z however we want we are able to move that but already we have given proper constraints after moving wherever we want once if i make it here update it will come to that proper position where we have given relations now here i think dimension is not there so just if i click here offset constraint between this to this with a distance of some 120 and if i make it update properly it will come back to original position manipulation so we are able to move x and y direction at a time or yz direction or xz direction however we want we are able to move and we are able to rotate also like this how we want we are able to rotate but later if we make update here it will come to proper position how we have applied and what relations we have applied by using this constraints so next so here snap will be there so snap is nothing but it will be similar to constraints only constraint means a permanent relation will be applied between two but here snap is nothing but just we will be able to see if we make relation between this face to this face how it will be represented so just i'll make here update we need here snap between this to this just if i go here update it will be not coming why because already this parts got fixed up let's say i'll go for new assembly i'll call one part bottom plate same one more part i'll call i'll call this top plate now if you want relation between this to this normally we need to go for constraints so that relation permanent relation will be created between this to this but i don't want proper relation between those two but i need to see how it will be visible if we make that proper relation between face to face such condition we can use this snap for example i need snap between this face to this face as you can see properly it will came straight to that again snap this face to this face i need relation properly it will come again snap this face to this face it will align properly to that but here no constraints applied just we are able to see how it will be shown if we make that relations that is about this snap option then next we are having here explode so already we know in basic class about this explode so what is mean by this exploded view means this exploded view will be used for assembly designs so if entire assembly got assembled let's say for example one assembly i will call file open i'll go here with universal coupling so just i'll open this assembly so already we are having one assembly design now inside some parts are there so we don't know which part is located to which one and where it is exactly located if you see from outside so we need to know in detail about this assembly design about all the parts where it got assembled and total how many parts are there in such condition we can use this exploded view so just i'll click on exploded view then we need to make all parts exploded are only few so we need all levels then selection entire product we need to explode then if you want to fix any part with reference to that if you want to make all parts exploded we can select this fixed car product or else just we can go for directly apply all parts will get exploded here so exploded selection is entire product if i click on apply all parts will get exploded here like this now we are able to see 
how many parts are there and then just if i scroll this slowly we are able to see which part is assembled to which position and where it is assembled like this so just we are able to see total entire assembly design in how many parts it is consisting of by using this exploded views just i'll say okay now again if you want to restore the position we need to update that properly it will get back to exploded view here so i hope you have understood about this exploded view then this we won't use just a stop manipulate to clash option will be there so in move toolbar we are going to use manipulation snap then exploded view so that is about this move toolbar next we can go here with space analysis toolbar so in this space analysis toolbar first option we are having here just i'll go here with clash option so clash is nothing but so whenever we are having two mating parts and whatever the relation we are having between the two mating parts that relation we call it as fit that already we have learned from basic class so in fits we are having majorly three types clearance fit transition fit interference fit now we have assembled this entire assembly design if we want to check any dimensional difference is there between the two mating parts that we can check by using this clash option now for example this center part hole is there and that diameter is equal to this bolt diameter or not if you want to check that so just we can go here with clash relation between two mating parts or dimensional difference between two mating parts if you want to check just we can click on clash then we are able to select either we want to check clearance contact or clash all three fits are only contact plus clash here clearance is same contact is nothing but transition fit diameter of the shaft will be equal to diameter of the hole then clash is nothing but interference fit it means diameter of the shaft will be greater than the diameter of the hole if we try to insert that it won't go inside we will get negative value that we are able to specify as clash here for example i need to check all three then we need to check between all components or only selecting components for example i need to check between two between this to this clash i need to check all relations between only two selections first selection is this first one is this second part is this relation be between these two i need to check if i go for a play here it is showing contact it means properly this whole diameter is equal to the shaft diameter we are not having any positive gap or negative gap here just a clash i'll go all relations i want between all components if i go for a play here we are getting clash so we are having clash between this this part and this part so like that we are able to see see we are having here dimensional interaction between these two components like that we can check dimensional difference between mating parts so if we are getting clash again we need to go for part designs and we need to check the dimensions properly and we need to make again reassemble of this assembly design then next we are having here sectioning so in part design if you want to see any section view we will be having dynamic sectioning same similar to that here we are having here sectioning to see section view of assembly design just the sectioning we can click and separate preview pane we will get here like this if you want to make side by side arrangement just you can go for window we can make it here horizontally or vertically i'll make here tile vertical now if i move this cutting plane if you make cut section exactly at that position so this is the shape we are able to get like that we are able to manage and we are able to rotate the cutting plane like this however we want we can change or else we are able to use this volume cut also means here only we are able to see the section view like however i will move this cutting plane we will be able to see here itself and here also in separate pane then positioning either we need to make cut section with reference to x direction like this or y direction like this or z direction so however we want we are able to check 
then result also separately we can save this only sectional view but usually we won't do all these things why because later we are going to insert this assembly design into drafting there we are able to make cut sections and everything in detail in 2d by using this drafting so that is about this space analysis toolbar so i hope you have understood about this then scenes option will be used in assembly like drafting i'll explain this scenes option later only this enhanced scene will be used later i'll explain this then next we are having here one catalog browser so what is meant by this catalog browser means some standard mechanical parts with the proper standard dimensions will be available under this catalog browser let's say for example bolt and nut or washers or the split pins so these are regularly used in our mechanical designs so again and again there is no need to create that particular parts so there directly we can use here catalog browser and you are able to select standard with which standard you want either you want iso standard or us standard jas standards or en standards for example i need iso standards then under iso standard what we want bolts nuts is whatever we want we can select for example i need bolts again in that bolts with the grades it will be specified for example hexagonal headed bolt then which size we want we are able to select here so here n number of default standard sizes will be there as you can see up to m64 we are having here bolts for example i need here m10 bolt again in m10 we are having different variations so here length will get vary so for example i need here m10 which is having length of 100 if you want to open this part into assembly just you can double click on that like automatically it will get reflect back to assembly design just i'll say okay just you can close this now this bolt can be used for assembly design for example i need relation between this axis to this axis like this we can apply relations and we can use not only this bolt whatever we wanted we can use here like keys nuts washer screws whatever we want we can just directly call into assembly and we can use this by using this catalog browser so i hope you have understood about this assembly options thanks for watching keep supporting if you feel this video is informative and my explanation is good please like the video and if you want any improvements from my side please let me know in comment box and please share to your friends to whom it will be useful thank you so much